In this repair video, we're going to be working on an Asus laptop that came in for a damaged or a ripped battery connector. Customer mailed over the connector inside this bag right here. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video. First repair video in the new location. As you all know, I posted a video about a week ago, a quick tour on our new warehouse, our new location. And we've been moving and working nonstop for the past, I would say, eight, nine days. I did not realize how much stuff we had at the old store until we moved here boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes organizing was the biggest problem we had to label every box in our old shop what's inside that box what tools are inside that box a lot of labeling to do so i said to myself why not just grab everything put them inside boxes and then i'll figure it out when we start unpacking in the new warehouse here but that turned out to be a big mess because i was looking for my tools all over the place and it took me a lot of time to get all the tools from the boxes and to organize my bench and to do what I needed to do. I would say we are about 50% complete with organizing the warehouse, what each room has, customers' devices, expedited devices, locals, mailings, waiting on parts, recycled. I mean, we have a lot to organize. But at least my bench, for the most part, is ready and we can start recording videos. Without wasting any time, let's go ahead and look at this laptop and see what's going on. Hopefully, we can still reuse the connector the customer mailed over, and I can tell that we have two missing pads right here. Let's start by removing those two pins here. I see two pins from the connector are still stuck. Actually, they're not stuck. So we can, we should be able to easily remove them. That's one. And that's two. It looks like we're going to have to grind two traces and run pad strips. The rest are good. We have ground on the left, three ground pads. We have three positive pads. And then we have clock and data. Right now, what we can do is we can run a wire from here to here, and we can run a wire from here to this end of the resistor. We do not need to grind, really. Let me grab pad strips number four. We should have some nice long strips here. And look at the dirt and debris on this pad strip. I mean, this sheet is sticky, so when you place it on your bench, it's going to collect all the dust, all the dirt, and everything on your bench. I did communicate with the factory, and I told them we do not need that sheet to be so sticky, because sometimes it's difficult to remove that pad strip from the sheet. It does not have to be that sticky. So this one, we're going to run it from here to right here. That bad strip was too close to the via to my taste, so I just pushed it back a bit. And everything is nice and round right here. And now we're going to grab another pad strip. We're going to solder it right over here. And just like that. Now we're going to apply UV mask. And all the tools I'm using on the bench here can be purchased off our site. We have everything in stock. And orders almost always ship out same day. Most of you are already customers, but I keep mentioning this for all new viewers. We have everything from hot air station, soldering station, microscope, anti-glare light, ring light, flux, tweezers. We have it all in stock and orders almost always ship out same day. It's 
So we're gonna use our NF.UV lamp right here. That's a 10 watt equivalent lamp. And we're gonna place that lamp over the solder mask. The lamp is gonna shut off by itself, maybe 20, 30 seconds, it's gonna shut off. And if we want, we can press the button again to go another 20, 30 seconds. But I think 20 seconds for this one is enough. And what I love about this lamp, the cuff does not allow the light to spill. So the light is focused on the UV mask. You see the lamp shut off by itself. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Now what I also like to do is apply hot air along with UV light. And I went over this technique in a previous video. You can look up Northridge Fix UV mask. Hot air helps with the curing of UV mask. And just like that. Now we can grab the customer's connector and hopefully that connector is good. One thing I noticed is the supporting pins are still stuck onto the board. Look at this. Let's grab a bigger tip for more heat transfer. Apply a tiny bit of flux. It helps with the flow of solder. And now all we have to do is this. And done. Let's take a look. The connector is missing pins, right? We have a missing pin here and we have a missing pin here. So we're not gonna be able to use the customer's connector. One, two, ground pins, bummer. Those connectors are nowhere to be found unless you buy them from Asus. It used to be that Asus did not carry those connectors, but now Asus do sell the connectors. If we order from them, we're gonna have to wait a week or two before we get that part. So let me check if we have donor boards that we can pull the connector from. Looks like I already used the connector from this donor board. And I already used the connector from this donor board right here. And I already used the connector from this donor board right here. Great. And this one, I already used the connector from this donor board. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What about this one? This one too. I used the connector from this donor board. And those are the donor boards I have in front of me right now. Let me put all the boards back. We do not have a connector on any one of those donor boards. Big Boss is looking inside for another donor board so we can grab that connector from. Any Asus laptop would do. So we found exactly the same laptop, a donor laptop. We're gonna remove the motherboard and then we can desolder the battery connector and solder it on the customer's board. Okay, so the donor motherboard is out and we're gonna use the battery connector on this laptop, right here. Exactly the same laptop as the customer's. But it didn't really have to be the same laptop because Asus, they share the same battery connector. For this one, we're gonna have to heat up from the bottom. Right now, if I apply hot air from here, we're gonna end up burning that plastic connector. So we're gonna apply hot air from the bottom to safely remove this connector. The board is gonna extend beyond my bench so I can point my hot air nozzle from under the board. And we can apply flux to help with the flow of solder.
Beautiful. We did not damage the connector. And we pulled it out as a whole. Let's go back to the customer's board. Right, so we are solid left and right but we're gonna have to check on the pins make sure they are all solid before I hand it over to Big Boss to reassemble and test and we still have to take care of the middle pins I do not want to use a big tip on the middle pins so we're gonna use a tiny one we do not want to disturb the pad strips we do have them secured by solder mask but solder mask is not glue and people confuse solder mask for glue you can secure a pad strip like this one because it's very lightweight but the purpose of solder mask is not to glue things down we're gonna need a lot of flux and for ground and positive we need to use a bigger tip because of the thermal mass Now to check if we have a solid connection, we can use our multimeter in continuity mode. Let's go ahead and measure in continuity mode. Make sure everything is good. We're good here, good here, and good here. Good here. Very nice. And now we're gonna measure from here to this resistor. And we're gonna measure from here to this resistor. Beautiful. The connector is solid, we're all good. Just quick clean up. And we are solid from the edges as well, not only from the front. Let's make everything nice and pretty. And we did such an amazing job. The connector is solid and better than factory, right? Let's check on that connector. Look at this. Beautiful. And maybe if we tilt so we can check on those pins, look at this. Look at how nicely the pads are soldered onto the pins. Beautiful. So we are done. I'm going to give this to Big Boss so he can reassemble and test, and I'll be back to finish the video. Battery plugged in, yeah. and the charger too. Bismillah. Yes. Yes, we see the orange light right here. Great, awesome. Remove the charger. Beautiful. That's it, the job is done. Thank you, Big Boss. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.